Project manager wanted a bright, snappy snare. Sounds pretty good. Stop. First of all, you gotta start with a decent sounding snare drum. That might sound obvious, but I don't know. This is a 61 year old Sonor 5x14 Beechwood um, and nothing fancy. I mean, Remo Ambassador coated top head, Remo Ambassador bottom head, 24 wire snare, nothing crazy. You can tell the snare drum is going to sound like by the way it sounds when you tap on it. It's got a nice, what I call a paper bag sound. Wound up pretty tight because they wanted bright snare sound. And the microphone, well, here we go. Prepare for war. There it is. One SM57. Don't, I don't recommend miking the bottom head. You can mic the shell, and that can give you a, sometimes a really nice pre-EQ'd sound. But, man, I just hate miking the bottom head and the snares. And, as you can tell, this... Um, Microphone positioning is not optimum. Most engineers, most sound guys like to get that closer to the edge or even over the edge. But when I'm playing, I'm playing American grip. And if that thing is too high I with the two small toms, I will smack that microphone. So it it doesn't even need to be super carefully positioned other than to avoid inadvertent impact. So here's what it sounds like in the song with one SM57 in a spare bedroom.